So we're cutting on um, transparent 7 inches. So I've got to take the protective coating off. That's the disc uncut. Drop that on there. Stick a wee puck in the middle to hold it down. Additional belt that runs around, it's just sort of around a big metal plate here. A belt drive alongside, synced with the, the direct drive of the turntable, helps give it even more stability. So yeah, I'll put that on. That'll be warming up. Move the cutting head into place. Prep the surface again. So I've done the prep. Ready to go, amplifier's going, just gotta check the length, you know, start off with a you start off with a lead groove where you go in a little bit faster and then you slow it down to the temp to the speed, the pitch with which you want the needle to move across the record. Turn on the vacuum. Needle's cutting, turn the temperature on, slow it down, and press play. The way it goes. You look at where the red, red light is, and you can see the strobe, and the strobe should be steady. There should be some circles there, you can see. It's flapping around, and that indicates that there's a movement that's in, it's unstable, which that's recording the sound, and it'll be moving the sound, so the sound will be going... Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is another cutting head that I got. So there's that cutting head there, which is the one that I purchased in Germany, and then there's this design, which is um, you know quite dramatically different. It's really, really small and compact, and um, it's it's a different type of moving coil. And the moving coil is essentially those two bits there. So those moving coils are going in towards in a 45, 45 degree. As you can see, the two armatures are kind of touching the, the torque tube there, and the needle goes in that little area there. Record's done. We wind it off and let it run out, and then we're good to go. It's the recording. So we'll put it onto the record player. Let's have a listen. actually wobbling, did you hear that? Maybe it's just their pitch, the tone of when they're singing, but it sounds really similar to the, the wobble that I was talking about. Sounds alright. I'm not sure at the beginning there whether we had a wobble or not, but the only way to tell is to go back and listen to the original. It could just be the vocals. It could like just that. be the way that they're singing, um, which you know I've been tricked before. Um, but it sounds good.